The role of a gatekeeper within journalism is of extreme importance in today's media environment. The public needs reliable, intelligent and relevant sources which they can go to for news, thus creating a push to try and fight fake news within the media. Here in Nigeria, in the quest of reporting the news factually, journalists have been targeted, attacked and sometimes even killed. The International Press Institute says this must stop. It promises to profile and indict individuals and governments responsible for such actions. We have decided to open a black book to document every individual whose action or inaction encourages or allows the harassment of journalists and the media in Nigeria. The record so far gathered will be regularly updated and shared periodically with embassies and all relevant international human rights groups across the world. We will use the record to ensure named individuals are held accountable one way or another. According to data from the World Press Freedom Index by Reporters Without Borders, the media in Nigeria is believed to have been freer and stronger in 2015, but has seen a downward slip since 2016. The International Press Institute says this is unacceptable and wants the government to do better. In fact, the 2021 ranking described Nigeria as one of West Africa's most dangerous and difficult countries for journalists, who are often spied on, attacked, arbitrarily arrested, or even killed. The country is not faring any better in the Freedom in the World Report, an annual report by Freedom House. We scored a cumulative 43 over 100 in the Global Freedom Scores and was ranked a partly free country in the, in the 2022 report. A performance worse than our 2021 showing when we scored 45 over 100, yet our nearby neighbor scored a cumulative 80 over 100. That's nearby neighbor, Ghana, scored a cumulative 80 over 100 and was ranked a free country. But the Minister of Information and Culture, Lai Mohamed, rejected the report, saying that the Nigerian press remains amongst the most vibrant and freest in the world. The Nigerian media have no reason to fear the government, and that if anything, it is the government that is at the mercy of the media. This may be one of the very few countries in the world where a section of the media can refuse to recognize popular sovereignty or how else does one explain a situation in which a president who was duly elected by millions of nigeria is willfully stripped of that title president and then cheekily cloaked in the garb of a dictator by playing up his military title ours must also be one of the few countries in the world where a reputable medium will report fake news and when called out would not retract or apologize. The media professionals say battling fake news is the responsibility of all, especially those in the profession. But for a better and freer society, experts say that freedom of expression, which is guaranteed by Section 39, Subsection 1 of the Nigerian Constitution, must be guaranteed to all citizens. I'm Maka Ujay, Arise News.